I'm going to show you real quick how to install a stock on your Spring Thunder. It's not a very convenient way of doing it, however, it is pretty simple. So the first thing you want to do is unscrew the back plate here. That's the plate that sits right behind the trigger guide, right behind the handle frames. So we'll just unscrew it. You can either use two screwdrivers on either end or a pair of pliers. You can either use two screwdrivers like this or a pair of pliers to undo it. You just want to get this back half off. Also be careful because you want to unprime the blaster because this is also the spring rest. You'll have a spring guide attached to it like this. And this will just come right off. So all you have to do to install it is you'll want to take this off, just unscrew it from the back. And then you want to put in, I like to use lock nuts because they won't loosen up over time, four lock nuts. One on the top, two on either side, and one on the bottom. You can use regular hex nuts, but regular hex nuts will come loose over time which means it'll be annoying to tighten later. And then you want to reattach your spring guide with uh, your just your 632 hex nuts, which will probably fall out when you do this, because they always fall out sometimes. Just like this, put it back together the way you found it. You would tighten these down all the way. I'm gonna leave mine a little loose so I can take them apart later. But then all you have to do then is, after you have those hex nuts in there, you and then as long as it don't fall out, just reattach this plate, slide it on the back, slide the thread rod through the holes, and then again, use your two screwdrivers or a pair of pliers and a screwdriver and tighten that down. You may have to adjust the threaded rod length because there's not a lot of tolerance there. But once you get this on, all you have to do to install the stock, take your stock, put four two inch screws through the four holes in the stock, this one came out very hairy. I did not post-process this one yet. You literally grabbed it straight off the printer. So you have your four screws. Those four screws then line up to the four screws or the four nuts in there, just like that. You tighten those four down and you're done. So this would be on your Spring Thunder at this point. Now be careful you do not push too hard on the screws at first. You want to bite into the nuts first and then you can apply pressure. Otherwise, you might pop out the hex nuts from the back plate inside of your Spring Thunder, and you will have to then take apart your Spring Thunder again to get those hex nuts back in. Now, you could try to do it with the uh, stock attached to the rear plate, as you can see now, and then attach that to your Spring Thunder. However, it'd be a lot harder to screw on these nuts here. You have a lot less room to use a pair of pliers. So while you could do that, it might be more difficult, but Either way, if you try it and you can't get it, try the other way, um, and you should be able to get it in the end. And there you go, that's how you install stock on your Spring Thunder.